Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Another video transfer tutorial. Now, this is very common with mini DV tapes, okay? Issues with cameras, dirty heads. These tapes from the mid 90s up to the 2003s ish. Um, now, this is very common problem that you see. So, I'm going to hit play. And his, okay, so let's turn this down. So what you see are these bars, okay? This is uh, from a dirty head or a worn out head. And I'm gonna test out, I've got a brand new head cleaner right here. Now, sometimes this can do the trick. Now, let's take this tape out. Now, this is a very common issue that you see with a lot of transfer companies is that they do not and this is fresh you've got all these online box companies and atrocious reviews okay i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm doing this one-handed go ahead and uh what am i doing hold on i just sliced that open all right is they are and i have to get these from japan as you can see hold on I am just gonna do this one handed and peel this open. Oh my life, what is happening? Okay, so I guess the most challenging part of this video is actually unpeeling plastic. All right, so got the tape right here. Here we go, back to normal, here we go, all right. So mini DV, Sony mini DV, that mini DV head cleaner. So let's see. Now the head real quick is down. It's hard to see with the light here, but gonna pop this in. Head cleaners can honestly go, I mean, hundred bucks. I can't remember what I paid for those. It was a package deal via Japan, but you let it play for about 10, 15 seconds. Sometimes you've got to do it a couple times. Uh, while I let that roll, um, a little bit about me. I'm Phil from Got Memories. There's a bunch of other videos on YouTube. Been doing this for 20 years. That's Got Memories right there. If you are looking to get videotapes transferred uh, or film reels, I do all of that um, here in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, if you're looking to do this yourself, good luck. If you are shopping around, be really careful because you got one copy of this stuff. Um, you know, this for instance, I mean, look, this customer here, uh, wedding, it's wedding day. What do you mean? 2003 question mark. Oh God. Can't remember when you got wed <laughs> when you got married. That's not good. All right. So I'm going to take that out now and see if this rectified the problem. I have not tested this. As you can see, I have unwrapped this for the first time ever. So this might not fix the problem, but at least you can tell. And you might, I'm going to do it one more time if it isn't perfect. And then I'm gonna put it in another player and show you. Oh, there we go. Boom. Hold on. Is that the same tape that I just used? Ready, it up. was, yeah. Because it's. Day. Yep. The lines are gone. Oh. Yeah, that's the same tape. Yeah, perfect. So yeah, uh, these are from Japan. Uh, this is essential. Be prepared to pay. I mean, video eight ones I have cost. Uh, let's have a look. Believe it or not, you ready? Ninety dollars for that. Nine zero, as in U.S. dollars. I paid for that. If you don't believe me, go on eBay and take a look. Um, Again, I have head cleaners galore, which is essential. If you're doing any transfers, you need to have impeccably clean heads, video and audio to get a nice clean picture. And you also need to be monitoring it. Look how clean that is. All of it, clean, clean, clean. And I am watching it with my eyeballs as I kind of scan around. And then when the, the file is done, I check it as well if there's any abnormalities so i'm kind of researching why and this is what you get from other companies now if they pop the tape in and it's not perfect i.e it looks like this 
<laughs> they go, whoopsie. We're just going to put a little sticker on that and blame the customer's tape. But instead of checking their players, then, uh, and you get that. And then everyone's searching around for this magic cheap transfer and go, oh, I'm not going to pay that. I'm just going to just they send me a box just like this. They put, it, put them in a box, you know, and then uh, it's a great, it's great value, great value. Yeah, um, handled with care, my ass. I have to redo, and I've got so many videos on this, and I'm very passionate about highlighting to people, be careful who you hand your one copy of your home movies over to. Zero backups, and people are shipping them off to the lowest bidder, and then getting them back, and they look like crap. If you want them done right, you have to go to a 5.0 rated on Google company with hundreds of reviews, and with a YouTube channel as well like this, with the owner or staff, employees, that are giving you free advice and information on the process. And that's me. Yeah, so social proofing, I get work from all over the world. I am based in Phoenix, Arizona. But yeah, all via the YouTube channel. And people in the UK thinking, is he English? Yeah, I'm from Cheltenham, down here in Gloucestershire. And I have a retail front, and I'm here on a Sunday, because this is the only time I get some peace and quiet, um, especially to make videos without the phones going nuts. And I have a lot of equipment. So, everything is done professionally, with heart, and I take very good care of your stuff. So if you need a quote, and you want all of your videotapes to, let's have a look here. You know, to come back in a very organized fashion, works with everything, neat and tidy. I'm your guy, if you're looking, shopping around again, 5.0 on Google and also a YouTube channel. Um, if you'd like a quote from me, gotmemories.com. And that's pretty much it. All right, guys, remember, head cleaners, head cleaners, head cleaners, and new heads. If you're looking for somebody to fix your equipment, if you're in the industry, um, Tim Arizona Video Electronics is fantastic. He fixes all my equipment for the past 20 years. And um, now, after all these years, I am located directly next door to him for a very strategic reason. So yeah, and also if you have old film reels, I do the film reels as well. And all the film transfer equipment is over here. I've got more videos on all of the film transfer stuff that I do. And yeah, if you're looking for used camcorders, <laughs> good luck. Uh, because the parts are in short supply, cameras are old, and there's usually junk out there. So you're buying, spending hundreds of dollars on crap. But um, yeah, all the best. Cheers. Bye.